small Recruits come to learn from the best of the best They'll be rescue bots too if they pass the test Rescue bots Academy Roll to the rescue Roll to the rescue Save the day for you and me Roll to the rescue Hot shop, world hoist, medic, sledge They're teamwork together, we'll give them the edge Rescue bots Academy Roll to the rescue Roll, 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 roll out Well, that was a fun trip, but I still wish we could have gone where there were actual aliens. Our mission was to gather scientific samples from the dwarf planets of the Oort cloud, Hotshot. I doubt organic life could survive in those conditions. Pluto was the best. Just look at these water-based ice crystals I found. Nah, uh Eris was way cooler. Check out these silicate deposits. Have you all scrambled your servos? Sedna was definitely the best dwarf planet. I found ice crystals, silicate deposits, and if you look to my lovely assistant, we also got a surface sample. Nice one. Impressive. Sweet. Hotshot, you're not about to open that sample, are you? Oh, um... These are samples from other worlds. We can't just open them. How could you, Hotshot? We have to be very careful with these samples since we don't yet know precisely what they might contain. So we're just gonna keep them sealed up? How will we learn anything about them? We won't be keeping them sealed up indefinitely. We can carry out many different experiments while the samples are in quarantine. And once we're sure they're safe, we'll open them. Oh! Wow. When did we get a quarantine area? Beats me. I clearly have not adequately explored my new lab. Come on, recruits. Bring your samples inside, and we'll begin conducting tests on them tomorrow. Removing all dirt and germs. Decontamination complete. You may now enter the quarantine area. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa. is an improper storage method, Whirl. Hot shot! These samples shouldn't be stored in such a haphazard manner. Wedge, huh? you can't leave that there. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps this location is suitable after all. Though someone really ought to alphabetize this entire catalog. Sounds like you just volunteered, buddy. Excellent. L. M N O P Hello there. I didn't realize I had company. You're that little Galax plant we rescued from the planet Parvus. I'm sorry. Does it make you sad to hear the name of your home planet? I miss Cybertron sometimes, too. I know it's not the same here. Everything is different, and it takes a lot to get used to, but Earth isn't so bad. It looks as though you could benefit from additional nutrients, though I suppose those are hard to come by when you're stuck in quarantine. I bet you haven't seen much of Earth yet either, have you? Well, we should do something about that. No bacteria present, no harmful emissions, favorable atmospheric conditions. Hmm, but it says here that no suitable location is available. Don't worry, I know a location that's better than suitable. There you go. Now you get to see what planet Earth is really like. A temperate climate, rich atmosphere, and lots of sunshine. That's why Earth has so much flora and fauna. Let's get you settled into your new home. I'm so sorry, what's wrong? Oh, my. I forgot you used to live in a cave without much water. But it looks like you're pretty happy to have more sunshine than you're used to. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Alex? My, you've... 
grown. I expected some growth, but this? This is unprecedented. You must have grown 50, no, 80 new tendrils overnight. It's... It's exemplary. <laughs> what test is that, sir? This is a fairly simple test to see if any of the dwarf planets we visited can support life. If this indicator turns red, the planet may not be suitable. Uh-oh. Let's go. Protrudes. What's the emergency? Sir, the alarm system is indicating an earthquake is in progress. Where? That's the problem. It's saying the epicenter is here, in the Academy's garden. But if that were true, we should be feeling the effects. Can you show me? Hmm, probably just a faulty sensor. I can recalibrate the alarm system from here. But I need you all to investigate the garden and make sure everything's okay. You guys know what that means. Rescue bot recruits, roll out. These don't look like any plants I've seen in the garden before. They don't look like any plants I've seen on Earth before. Hmm. Ah, what was that? I deduce something suspicious is going on in the garden. Really? What gave it away? The phantom earthquake or the offended vine that just slapped Wedge? Your root system is quite remarkable, Galax, and I'm glad you like our garden so much. But you sure are making a mess. Try not to do any real damage, okay? I should go check in with the other recruits. Touching, you don't want me to leave. I guess I can stay a little longer, but then I really do need to check in with my friends, okay? What was that? Oh, no. What's going on, medics? What is that thing? I can explain. Can you? I was just organizing the quarantine, and I found the Galax. Huh? He'd been stuck in quarantine for almost a year. For a very good reason. I checked for bacteria and emissions, just like Professor Boulder said to. All of his readings were normal. But medics, look around you. This isn't normal. None of the Earth plants can get sunlight anymore because the Galax has completely covered them. They won't survive if we don't stop the Galax right now. But he needed a new home. He's the last of his kind. But how big is it going to get, Medix? What if it keeps growing and we can't contain it anymore? Could it eventually take over the whole planet? It's not his fault he's growing so fast. He's not used to this much sunlight. Medix, look out! No, wait! <laughs> Stop! You don't understand! He's not dangerous, he's protecting me! What? Dangerous or not, we have to contain it. Look what it's done to the garden! Oh, Christ. You know the Galax better than any of us. What can we do? Promise that you won't hurt him? We, we promise. promise! The Galax hates water. Professor Boulder, we have a code 762! Garden in need of watering? Exactly. <laughs> Operation Downpour is a go. Hot shot, you're up. Go now, I have you covered. <laughs> Medics, now! I got you, buddy. Everything is going to be okay. Medics, I know your spark was in the right place, but we can't just introduce foreign species of plants or animals into the environment without first understanding what it will do to all the living things around it. I'm sorry. I just wanted to find a new home for the Galax. But I guess that's not Earth. Can we tell him now, sir? Tell me what? A sample gathered on our last mission tells us that one of the dwarf planets we visited is perfect for the galaxy. 
Ooh, is it Pluto? No, it's got to be Eris. Senna! Ha! Yes! Nailed it. Hear that? We found you a new home. Welcome home, my little friend. 